I'm Sharon Bill. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Finally, after nearly two years, I finally got back to singing with my local choir again and it's been such a joy to be back with like-minded musicians, to be with a group of musicians, not just in isolation, and to be singing with a big group of people in that live setting is just joyous. But my word, what a return to choir we had. So after not singing for pretty much nearly two years, uh, well not singing properly, do I ever sing properly? It is an amateur choir after all. Uh, however, what a work to jump straight in with and we started singing the Mozart Requiem, which is a really hefty, hefty work. It's a really meaty work compared to, for example, the glorious Foray Requiem, which is a mere light picnic in comparison. You know, I've not been singing for nearly two years and on the second page, just the first movement, the second page, we find a top B flat. It's, you are joking. We just about got back into it. I mean, Thankfully, as ever, our wonderful conductor did give us some good vocal warm-up exercises, so no, no damage done, but, you know, a top B flat on week one, and it's a really hefty volume that gets your brain cells working straight away. Uh, I did feel for the conductor because I think, oh goodness, we did sound pretty terrible and it was so exhausting as well just you forget the physical effort that's required and I think because we were back in a big group and a big setting we were all really keen to give it all I, th I suspect that we were just throwing notes out there in, in joyous abandon maybe not to the best accuracy and quality but never mind we made a start i did think that we perhaps might start with something a little bit easier you know some nice easy christmas items thinking ahead for a little bit of a jolly christmas concert we might have started with something simple like that but no no straight in at the deep end with this requiem not only is it joyous to be singing and having live music in a group of people again it's just so great to be back with a group of like-minded people talking about just the, the subject, the music, you know, just being with bright, lively-minded musicians has been so great. And, and I particularly love this work because when I'm singing this, I feel like, as, as I do with any piece of music, but with this one especially, it really captures my imagination because I feel like I'm just sort of doing a time hop and stepping back into history. This is the work that's always shrouded in such mystery that dogged Mozart's last days as he was, you know, on his deathbed, really. And it's a brooding work for sure. So not, of course, I mean, at the end of the day, it's a requiem. It was commissioned because uh, of a, a man who'd lost his wife. I think it was a count something or other. So, you know, of course, it's a sad and sombre topic anyway. Any requiem is. But this is Mozart's final work. In fact, he didn't even complete the work. And it's shrouded in mystery and sort of evil portents, as it were, because with a typical flair for the dramatic, not surprising for people who were involved in the arts, I guess, but this was commissioned um, in a secret manner where the representative of the, the man who commissioned it count whatever I, sh I should know that anyway um he would turn up on Mozart's doorstep unannounced all cloaked and masked and and sort of give his next instructions as it were and I, I suspect with Mozart's fevered brain as he was ill and dying it must have brought a sense of impending doom it's documented that it did do so and it obviously plagued his last days with sense of doom and and worry and evil portent so as I'm singing this I do feel like I'm just stepping back into history and I'm reminded of the play um, Amadeus and it shows in those final scenes him on his deathbed I mean of course he didn't know he was dying as such but 
he obviously sensed that he was. And this cloaked figure would keep turning up and Mozart was convinced that he was writing his own Requiem at the time. He didn't finish the work and so we're never quite sure if absolutely every note was written by Mozart himself. And again, there's all sorts of intrigue here. This is the work where, you know, it was suspected that the Freemasons were after him and his work was being plagiarised and taken as their own and it's never quite sure who actually finished the work. Um, I guess we weren't there, we'll never really know. And I think it, it's sort of mystery and doom surrounds this whole piece really. But there are no doubt moments where, well, many, many moments where just sheer Mozart beauty shines through. And so I was really thrilled to be back and it's just great to be sharing the joy of music purely for pleasure, purely for interest. You know, we spend a lot of time working towards exams, we spend a lot of time honing our techniques on our instruments and choir for me is just a great release to just, this is purely music for pleasure. I go, I see my friends, I have a chat, I sing, beautiful, beautiful music. The conductor is such a knowledgeable and skilled musical director that there's always something that we can pick up. I was a bit, well, I was relieved but concerned because we did finish the rehearsal 10 minutes early and I was so glad because for the first rehearsal back, we were exhausted and I was really grateful to be done as it were. Just like, I need to go home and just go to bed. I think I was exhausted. But I think, oh no, did we finish early? Because were we so bad? Or is he just being kind and giving us a rest? I'll, I'll choose to think the latter, but I'll endeavour to practice a bit for next week so that um, if it was the former, I've not given him cause to finish early next week as well. So I'm so thrilled to be back and I'm going to put some links to uh, the work below just so you can join with me and hear what it is that I'm rambling on about and no doubt we'll be talking about this again because I just get so engrossed with it and I'm so enraptured by it that I'll be wittering on about this for many many weeks to come to my friends and family and students I am sure. So I will put some links below for you to join with me in this beautiful work and if you get the chance I do suggest that you watch the movie or the play Amadeus as well and that explains the background or the suspected background to this Requiem as well. Thanks for sharing the moment with me. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>